today I'm going to be doing um, a brow tutorial for you. I wanted to demonstrate how I do my eyebrows. So that's what this video is about. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I don't always take this long to do my brows, but um, if I'm, you know, wanting to make them look perfect or something like that, I will. Sometimes I just, um, if I'm in a hurry, take like a brow um, gel, like a tinted brow gel, and like this one here, this is Queen of the Hill. I got this, I think, in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy bag. I don't remember which one. Um, I think it was a ipsy bag though because it's not full size um and run it through my brows and then i'll just go out the door if i'm not doing like you know full face makeup or i don't have time um this would be like the brow look that i would do when i'm actually like fully doing my brows um for the day so you know you guys don't have to do them um this way if you don't want to or if you're not gonna you know if you're not doing them um, um, that quickly just run like a tinted brow gel through them and that works well too if you want to maybe a little bit more natural or just something to kind of make them look a little fuller quickly this is definitely one of my um go-to's i know benefit has a really um good one as well so that is something you could do but this is just you know um i use the anastasia beverly hills um brow pomade it's a really good product um i've had mine for a long time so it does last really long. I think I've had it for almost two years. Um, I probably am needing a new one though, not just because I ran out, but because I can tell it's not um, as fresh as it was when it was new. Um, but I've had it for two years and I think it's around 18 to $20. So, you know, it lasts really long time. Um, but yeah, I really like the way that they turned out today. Um, both brows actually look pretty even. You know, remember they're sisters, not twins, so they don't have to be perfect, but it works out really well um, whenever they look a little bit more like the other one, especially whenever it bothers me really bad if they don't, but that's just me. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. But please don't forget to check back um, next week and see what's to come. Don't forget to like, that like button if you enjoy this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. So here I'm going in and I'm just plucking any eyebrows that I have that are stragglers that need cleaned up. Um, I do usually get my eyebrows waxed, but mine grow extremely slow, so I don't do that very often whatsoever. Um, so here I just pluck probably every, every two months probably I'd say just my little ones that are growing out that need cleaned up. brushing my eyebrows hairs upwards so this way I can see where I need to fill them in. Then I'm using a crown brush and this is their eyebrow brush. Um, it's very thin and it has this spoolie on one end and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pomade and I believe it's in the shade blonde and I'm starting at the end of my eyebrow because you want this part to be the darkest. Um, you want the part closest to the um, other, the thickest side, there we go, um, to be thinner because that's where you naturally have less um, eyebrow hairs. And I'm just going to start outlining my eyebrow on the other side and um, then just start filling them in where I feel like I have less eyebrow hairs. As you can see here, I was having a little bit of trouble getting the product to stick to my brush at first. Like I said in the beginning, this product is two years old, so I think that was a little bit part of that issue. And then here I'm coming over and filling in the thickest part of my brow at the beginning. Um, and I'm just going to lightly fill that part in. You don't want that to be too dark. 
And then I'm going in with the spoolie and just running over it. I'm going to brush those eyebrows hairs back into place where they should be and just make sure that there's no clumps or anything like that. And then moving on to the other eyebrow, I'm going to do the exact same thing and just line the bottom part of my brow first. And by now the product was working a little bit better for me and then I'm going to go in and line the top part of my eyebrow there and meet on that other side like a V shape. And then here I'm going to meet the top part of the eyebrow there to make kind of a point. And then go back in and finish off the bottom line. And then fill in the lines that we drawn and make sure where the parts where I feel like I don't have as many eyebrow hairs, I'm going to fill that part in with the pomade. And I'm going to try to do it as evenly as possible and then here I'm going in again with what's left on my brush and just filling in the beginning part of my eyebrow and at first I go on an upwards motion and then kind of flare it back out to where my normal hairs would fall and then going back in with the spoolie to brush that all out evenly and make sure all of the hairs lay in place And then here I'm going in with an eyeliner brush and some concealer and this is the um, NYX Ultra HD concealer. And I'm going to be using this to clean up any parts of my eyebrow that needs cleaned up. And if you can tell here one part of my brow there is a little bit thicker than the other one, so I'm just going to go in and clean that area up. That's really the only part that needs fixed. And then I'm just going to run over and lighten that um, concealer up because I don't want it to look like there's a streak there. And then I'm going to go over and highlight the other side as well just so that they match. And then I'm just going to blend that in with my fingers. And you can run it across the top to do some cleanup as well. And then I'm going to take it in to that first beginning part of my eyebrow and just use what was left on my brush to make sure that the pomade wasn't too thick to give it that light look in the beginning of the brow. And then one more run over with the spoolie just to make sure every hair is laid in place before I go in with my brow gel because once I set it with this they are not moving. This brow gel is also waterproof, so it's great for summer, anytime you're going to be outside or doing anything with water. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check back um, every week to see more. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.